Yeah. What's up guys? Welcome back to our vlog. It is us four again. Bam, bam. Um, so this time we're actually on our way from Augusta to Atlanta to ride to New York and it would be my first time, Ming's first time, Jordan's first time, but not this one's first time. So I guess we'll take you guys on a trial and error run with us because we're not really sure how to go about this. Um, we've had some tips and tricks from friends that have visited New York. So I guess we'll see how that goes, but yeah. New Thanks. York! That's all you need? <laughs> Any sauce Mr. Condiment? Chick-fil-A sauce. Alright, so we're for our four count ship next. Yes, ma'am. Your title stops in the scenic people to the left after a pleasure journey. Thank you. Oh my gosh. That shit was funny, dude. Why'd you start talking, Ming? Oh, alright, okay. Because I'm gonna wait. I'm like, bro. What was it, 5.17? 5.17, yet? I got changed. Yeah, here's a 5. Alright guys, bubble, so we guy. all just got like separate food. Ming got Taco Bell, Jordan just got Chick-fil-A, me and, and Josh. we're whipping in McDonald's right now. Yeah, we're whipping in McDonald's <laughs> now. And Chuck, stop! Stop! You idiot! Oh my god. He wasn't even looking. <laughs> Can we try to... Anyways. I don't even know where you want to go either. Bubble Guts. Yeah, Ming's got to get Bubble Guts. Nope. Ming, what's Bubble Guts? I don't even know what Bubble Guts is. Yeah, I've never heard of it. Please explain to us what Bubble Guts is. Yeah, please explain. You want the usual one, Nancy? Bubble guts. Yeah, I know what bubble guts is. Nobody knows what bubble guts is. What is bubble guts? Wait. Make you got diarrhea, dude. Look at Josh's fanny pack. Look at McDonald's. Two hours later. We right. made it to the yep, airport. Yeah, we made it, and we are at 27B in the car deck, which we do like a daily rate, which I think was $19 an hour. So we are going to walk to the airport now. We're actually really early. You guys know what time it is? Uh, four, four one. Yeah, so it's 4.01 and our flight isn't until like 9.30, so we're here super early. I guess we'll just chill here and then see how that goes. One fourteen a.m. How's your flight, man? Crazy, man. It's crazy. I had yeah. some cool next to me that I was Ooh, talking yeah. about the whole time. <laughs> How was your flight? It was, I feel it was sick. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired. I know. Yeah, it's really late, so we're gonna try and figure out how to get to our hotel, which is in Times Square. So I guess we'll see how that goes. Okay guys, so it's 2.23 right now. Um, we are finally in our room, which we have two queen beds. Um, 
Yep, it's a really small room, not bad, but I mean, we're not used, we've never been in New York, but we kind of expected hotels to be small anyways, but yeah, there's a door right here, um, the closet, seat, desk, like I said, the two queen beds, which is really good, and then this gigantic vanity mirror, which is awesome, loving it already, the TV, and then I guess a window to who knows what type of view, but yeah, just a small basic bathroom with a bunch of more mirrors. Not bad. And yeah, shower. And then I guess another window? <laughs> but it's a cool chandelier, but Ming kind of thinks it's haunted just because the elevator goes slow. That shit. Ming. Oh, that? This is a heater. Ming thinks this is really old. <laughs> No, it's oh god. Than most right? Bullshit. What? Oh god. Anyways, <laughs> it's not bad, you guys. Bad. So, um, just bad. a quick reference. We are at Amsterdam Court, which is in walking distance of. Let me focus this. Of walking distance of Times Square. But yeah, really convenient. Good morning, everybody. It is um, 7 36 right now, and. It's actually pretty windy right now. Um, this is outside of our hotel. Let me zoom in so you guys can tell of the people walking down. Now, we didn't really bring any <laughs> warm clothes. Did you guys? I didn't bring no jackets. Did. Mang? Jordan? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Ming left his jacket. So I was planning on wearing this, but it doesn't work. look like... Keep you warm and your legs. What? Do you not see people wearing bubble vests out there? The trees blowing? Can't be that bad. Thanks, Hurricane Michael. Oh, it's Hurricane Michael's fault. But... Yeah, Jack and Jack. Mm. Yeah, yeah, like... yeah, I don't know. But yeah, the whole situation with last night was when we got to the airport, there was this part where um, buses, pickups, Ubers, Lyfts, everything had to go. And we actually was planning on taking the city bus, but it didn't really work out because we we're trying to get our Metro card. That didn't work either. So we ended up taking an Uber, which was like, how much? 60 bucks. Like 60 bucks for like a 25-minute drive to the hotel to Times Square from LaGuardia. So I guess it's not bad. We might have to do that again when we leave because... For, for, for the amount of people. So that... Yeah, it's not bad. Unless for... we go um, take a subway closer to the airport and then do a shorter drive and be cheaper. I don't know. But we tried figuring out the cheaper way, but I guess not. <laughs> Depending on how many people you have. That's the distance, too. Yeah. But, yeah, we figured it out. So, I mean, probably best way, if you guys do plan on going to New York, Uber. is just take an Uber. Yeah. So. Okay, guys. So, Jordan, are you cold? Uh, not really. I know, right? It's just it windy. It looks crazy. Subway.
everything we could so we're taking a break now that's why man kind of had a switch of shoes his feet are hurting but we're going to which where are we going where are we going Staten Island Ferry to yeah. go see the Statue of Liberty it should be free and then we can see the Statue of Liberty for free <laughs> yeah but it's gonna, it's gonna be as close but it'll be all right yeah I guess we'll see how that goes Four sixteen right now, and we've been out since eight eight o'clock. I would say we've been walking around. Um, as you guys seen, um, we went to the BT Twenty One store, and I got this huge bag, nice gigantic. Um, it was really awesome, really good photo ops, and even Jordan got like these really expensive mm -hmm. Ray Bans. Who would have known that Ray Ban collab with Lamborghini? But, um, came in this bougie case. Yes, this bougie it. case. I got the yellow ones. 
Yeah, like Jordan didn't even know they were yeah. Lamborghini, but they look nice. Just walked in, first time <laughs> looking around, and I. Yeah, this boy dropped yep. three hundred. No, don't tell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they gonna come after me. <laughs> well, this rich boy. <laughs> but yeah, me and Jordan are in the hotel room by ourselves. Um, we're kind of just relaxing. Meng and Josh went out to go <laughs> get some New York pizza since New York is known for their pies, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, this should be some hope maybe back. I don't know how long it takes. I don't know if it's like actually like brick oven or like I don't know. I mean, we never really had real real pizza. So, I mean, real pies. That's how New Yorkers call them, right? <laughs> okay, you guys, while we wait for the pizza, um, I'm gonna show you guys what I got, and I keep saying BT21 store, store, but really it it's just the line. The store that I go to is Line Friends. It's just they collaborated with BTS, which their line is called BT21. I don't know why I keep saying that, but yeah, here's the big bag that the cashier gave me. Um, I only got three things. It could be kind of expensive. This is Ming's bag that he got, Debbie. <laughs> um, so I got one of my first three. I got eye mask. I'm kind of obsessed with Tata, which is created by V or um, Taehyung. Um, these don't actually show prices, but if you're in stores, some of the shelves actually say like I, I think this might have been like fifteen ninety five. I think sometimes they're labeled, sometimes they're not. But you know who cares? Because it's BTS, so you got to blow the money for it. So yeah, I got the cute eye mask or sleep mask of Tata. Um, the second one, it's like really lost in the bag. Where is it at? I don't even know what I got. Okay, yeah, so I got a bigger keychain of Tata, which is funny because this one's squishy. And, um, when Josh had came to New York before for a bowling tournament, he actually picked this up for me. So it's like a hard keychain, which I didn't see. I guess they're all out. Like, I didn't see any keychains for any of the members, like, any of the other characters that BT, I mean, BTS created. So, I mean, but yeah, people keep squeezing it when they see Tata. So I just got a bigger, squishy, plush one. And this one didn't have a price either. But yeah, it's a bag charm. This one's a squishy one. Um, and then last but not least, let me throw this bag out. I got this half zip. Which I really like half zips more than put like hoodies, I guess. It's weird, I don't know. I just like not having the hoodie stuck on my neck. I just unzip it. It says Universe Star and um, I don't know what that is, but Tata's on the side. So I think this might have been I don't I'm not sure. The total was like $90. I'm gonna show you guys because the receipt doesn't even tell you the prices, which is so funny to me, but like I said, you know, you gotta blow that money for BTS. So there's the plush, this is one count. The eye mask, one count. And then this half zip, one count as well. And it just totals up to $90, which is really expensive. But, you know, it's for BTS. It's, I only come here once, so might as well do it. And um, I got this in large. But I really like it. Um, I would have bought more, maybe. They had a bunch more in the store, like headbands, um, pens, uh, mirrors, and this weird drumstick thing that we couldn't figure out what it was for. But yeah, I just kind of liked only these. But they have other characters if you don't want to shop for just BTS. So definitely check out the Line Friends store. They have really cute things. And you don't have to get the, the, the line that BTS made. They have cute bears, ducks, a bunch of things like hair ties. But yeah, definitely check it out if you guys go to New York. Pizza's here. Where'd you guys go? Uh, what's that damn name? Is that real authentic New York pie? You got a damn Mexican making that shit. It's a can. You know it's we got that little, wait, wait, keep recording, keep recording. What are you doing? Oh, why'd you get that? <laughs> okay. That's what took y'all so long. No, we had to wait 15 minutes. So oh, okay. Like 15 minutes, yeah, yeah, we had to go yeah, grab yeah. that. What, what kind of pie? Get that? <laughs> Classic pepperoni. Yeah, Looks good. good. No, you want it, you you want New York pizza to be original and it's good. Dang yeah, it. Sure. Mm. Alright guys, so it is seven sixteen. So we just had a power nap and um we're gonna go out again to go to Town Square, Brooklyn Bridge, maybe Chinatown.
And your mom's house. Anyways, mom's we're going to show you guys um, Times Square, the Brooklyn Bridge, um, lit up at night. And then we'll see if we see any different vendors set up, you know, specific so, vendors, you Gucci know. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, and then we'll just go and try and eat in Chinatown, but we'll see how that goes. Oh, quick thing before we go, guys. So the Metro card that we got earlier, this uh, week, seven-day pass, and it was $33. And some people say don't get it. Like, we're only here for technically two days, yet we still got it. And in one day, we still got our money's worth. Like, we rode the subway everywhere. And I feel like, you know, it's totally worth it, right? Yeah, super. If you come for two days, just buy the Unlimited pass. Two days or more, if you know for sure you're going to ride the subway. I mean, we walked a good bit still, we but we still, yeah, we still used a lot. Unless you're going to not use it like one person we know. Yeah, yeah, like Natalie here for like nine days and <laughs> bought the Metro car and didn't use it at all. <laughs>
Alright guys, so it's 3.26 a.m. We're about to check out and head to the airport. We're going to catch an Uber and then we'll get back to you guys when we're there. Alright guys, so we're at LaGuardia now, just kind of waiting for 520 to board. And um, we're just going to talk about, I guess, how we feel about New York. Coming from a small city like Augusta. So, Mitch, what do you think? There's a lot of people. Um, it's a well, big I mean, city. yeah, we stayed in Times Square, so it was like the most tourist, tra the tourist trap. I think it was really nice. There's a lot of sightseeing. It was amazing. A lot of sightseeing and stuff. You know. This one, this one was dying a lot. You better bring the right shoes. Yeah. You think you broke in your shoes, but like really you don't because. Well, actually, I'm wearing shoes that. Hold on. Just don't bring no NMDs. <laughs> that makes you talk. I just got these shoes and they're like I only wore them once before bringing them to New York and my feet feel fine. Well, mm. bearable. Let's say that. He brought his. Yeezys. Yeezys, but he didn't wear them. There were no 350s around me, man. <laughs> Anyways, but, he brought his Adidas, and they, they he's worn them before, so. So many steps, so many miles. You're, you're going to walk so many miles. Yeah. It's guaranteed, but. <laughs> Even with taking the subways here, like, I'll show you guys, too. So you guys can talk about it. What'd you guys think? I almost broke my ankle on the first day. <laughs> yeah, because you want to fly down the stairs. Hey, <laughs> not my fault. I tripped down the stairs. <laughs> and I got a huge cramp in my calf muscle. It was Honestly. better than the first time. What am I living here? I think I'm a true New Yorker. I know how to subway now. Come yeah, on. yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We're going to go learn the subway. I love the subways. Jordan actually loves the subways. It's crazy. Subways. It's freaking crazy. But... Subway's nice, though. You don't have to walk everywhere. Yeah, but still, in between, forever. in between, like commuting in between the subways and stuff, you still have to. I don't even know what I'm doing. It's really hard because I can't flip the camera while we're recording. But yeah, I'll just show you guys here. Here, I'll pull it. <laughs> oh, one shot. Why are we doing like a picture? <laughs> 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 We just want to sleep. Yeah, we're really tired. This one took a nice sleep, snoring everywhere. Ah. Don't judge me. <laughs> yeah. You want an alarm clock? There you go. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, on like a one to five, not bad. It's like an experience for sure. You, be, you gotta be fit. Rate one you to five. You do not have to be fit. Rate one to five. What is it? I say three. Oh, I say four not your turn yet. I say four and a half. Without the, walk, without the walking and all that, it's probably like three, four. Three. three four. I say four and a half. You have to show it to I say four and a half. Like, walking wasn't bad because we are in Times Square, so we are like five, six minutes, like under ten minutes from walking everywhere. But we just used the subways. But it was still a lot of walking, so four and a half. But, I mean, it's expected to walk everywhere, so. What's your rating? Five. Oh, it's not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure if I lived here, I'd be skinny. Shut up. <laughs> I give it a 4.9. It came already, though. What was it? Come Last time was a 2. Because I came, I came with the wrong people. <laughs> so, that's, that's for sure. It's going to come with the right people. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> Asian squad. Hashtag Asian squad. Don't ever come to New York with old people. And a child. And a mean 7-year-old that's swole rotten is like, I want my ice cream! Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Deuces. Peace for now. All right, guys. We're going to the Bronx. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We're here. We made it back in Atlanta. Um, uh, we, we're headed to baggage claim now, and we should be doing some shopping here and then heading back to Augusta. And then we'll just talk about our last final final thoughts when we're done. Six hours later. Alright guys, so of all the whole video, this is probably the most important part because we're going to go ahead and basically sum up all the main important parts that we think you guys should definitely take into consideration before going to New York. Um, so we kind of made a list, so we'll just be looking down. So just don't mind that. But um, we'll just go ahead and start with, since everybody knows New York City is a walking city, um, 
you have the option to either walk it all, um, which is the cheaper way, but you can also get the Metro card, which we brought up earlier in the video. Um, the Metro card, you can do it by seven days, which was $33, which is what we got. Um, monthly, which I'm pretty sure we won't have to worry about. So yeah, we got the seven day unlimited pass mm -hmm. for 30, $32 if you have the Metro card already and 33 if you don't. You can also pay uh, what, for every every ride if you want to go on there. It's like yeah. two seventy five a ride. Yeah, that's if you don't get the Metro card. So it'll be two seventy five. And he went to New York before we went with his um, aunt, aunt and uncle, and they did it the each ride ticket. So they paid two seventy five every time they got on the Metro. And um, you want to tell them what happened? Uh, sometimes when we would swipe it, it would take our money, but we couldn't go through. So. So they basically got yeah. double charge, you know. Yeah. We're not saying all machines are going to do that, but there's the possibility that it might happen to y'all as well. So you might as well just go ahead and get the Metro card. Um, we, like we said, it's seven days. Some people say it's not worth it, but we were only there for like two days, and we literally got our money's worth the first, the day. first day. So, I mean, we think it's worth it. It's definitely a way to get around. We still walked a good bit because subways don't always stop everywhere, but it's definitely a good option to think about. You actually should get this app too. Yeah, so since you guys might be considering getting the Metro card, definitely get the, um, what is it called? N NYC Subway, right? Yeah, there. the NYC Subway. Um, basically, when you use that, it tells you like all the steps. Right, I'll pull it up. Yeah, it shows you, I showed you guys a quick video when we were going through it. But um, it usually helps with the blue train, green train, orange train. It tells you what stops goes to where. And um, it definitely helps. And it shows you the points of where each stop stops to see which one you need to get on. Because the subway There's can be really confusing. Times time Square. That's where our hotel was, this area. Yeah. Central Park is the big green thing. And Statue of Liberty is over here. So you basically figure out where you want to go and follow the subways. Yeah. And plus another benefit of getting the Metro card is like you can trial and error. Like I feel like it worked a lot because we rode the Metro sometimes. Um, for no reason. For no reason. For no <laughs> reason. So we didn't lose any money on that and we it added to getting our money's worth. And it doesn't really hurt or break your bank when you get on the wrong train or if like in our case the weekends some of the trains were actually closed or oh, yeah. under construction so you definitely need to worry about that because you definitely have to make more stops and or walk more read the signs posted definitely because some there's a difference of Beanie. she's running around so sorry guys if you guys hear her little bell but <laughs> Here. But um, yeah, yeah, definitely look at the signs because say if you're going uptown to the Bronx, you know, there's still <laughs> a downtown one. So you have to you have to worry about commuting underground too because there's different signs to different places or the same places. So one place, let's just say like, wait, how how which ones had uptown downtown? Uptown's the Bronx and the Queens. Downtown is Brooklyn and mm -hmm. downtown Manhattan. Yeah, so some you have to walk upstairs, some you have to go down two levels. So definitely pay attention to that. Get the app. Definitely invest in the Metro card. It's totally worth it. Even if it was just our first time, we t definitely got our money's worth. Now, um, the second thing we want to talk about is um, uh, big cities. If you guys are from big cities, you'll be used to it. But from small cities like us, we're not used to it. But there public are bathrooms. public bathrooms. It was rare to find any public bathrooms, and if you did, they were in parks. So we went to Central Park, which had a public bathroom. What was that other park called? It There's some under the Manhattan Bridge. Yeah, it was. I took a picture near Dumbo, which is like a really famous shot. And if you guys go on my Instagram, you can go look at it. But that was another park right behind it, and there was a public park bathroom. Other than that, in the city and everywhere you go. They will tell you there's no bathroom if it's like like Whole Foods we went there there was a bathroom oh wait, there's yeah, a bathroom in there sure. okay um like restaurants you guys in big cities they use codes and usually you had to buy something to get the code like the code will be printed out at the bottom of your receipt that was um, like McDonald's right yeah McDonald's McDonald's had a code but it was 
really packed and the lines were like really long and they weren't really moving. So like Ming, he drinks a lot of water and his body just flushes it straight <laughs> out. And this boy had to pee like every second. And then like, it was just kind of difficult. Like it was a good thing we kind of stuck around Times Square where our hotel was so we could just go back and use it, you know, but it's definitely an issue to think about if you guys need to always go to the bathroom because these stores, just in New York in general, it's really hard to access a bathroom. Um, on and poop in the morning. Yeah. Before you go, <laughs> watch what you eat. Don't get no bubble guts. <laughs> so, um, uh, a third thing we want to talk about is just the walking pace. Now, I've, I don't walk fast it unless I'm mad. I know, it, felt, it was felt yeah. like it was normal speed. It was not normal enjoyed, speed. Oh, it was not normal it speed. It was normal speed. So, okay, it's a little different because we are in Times Square, which is the tourist trap or where everyone really is. It's heavily populated. Um, you can kind of see how it would be really packed and, you know, everyone's just like shoulder to shoulder walking really fast. But I feel like um, because, you know, New Yorkers are there, they're on their way to work or just in general, a lot of other tourists and you kind of walk fast and it would be kind of looked down upon if you just randomly walk slow or just stop in the middle of everyone. So I felt like I was forced to, you know, go with the you know, flow. Yeah, yeah. So... It's but, like driving on a highway. Yeah, you just kind of go, yeah. But um, it was really fast paced, so definitely think about that. And um, if you do walk generally slow, or you have to use like a walking cane or something, stay on the side. Stay on the side. Try and stick close to the side. But yeah. So we weren't necessarily scam, but we just want to bring up the thought of the possibility of very Getting thought scam. out, well thought out scams. So I'm not necessarily calling them scams, but they could be, and you just want to be on your toes when it does happen to you because some people, scam artists are scam artists for a reason. They've thought out every possible way. They've perfected their skill and everything. So, like, a couple examples were, like, when we were on the subway. The first one was at the airport. At the airport. When we got there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some guy comes up and like, Uber, taxi. You guys like, do not want to do that. Where to have it so, through the app. Yeah. Do it through the app. Do it through the app. You can take the risk to go with those people that are already camping outside the airport, but it would be safer. Like, there's cases where people are like, hey, do you need an Uber? I'm an Uber driver. And um, a girl got in, and then it was like, I think it was a rape case. Yeah, it's so, trying to uh, sex trafficking. Yeah, so definitely be careful. Just to play it safe, always do it through the app. Because I've seen a couple people come up to people that got off the plane with us. Like, hey, do you need an Uber, Lyft driver? I'm that. Let's go. I can take you there. Definitely don't do that. Go do definitely that use only. the app, you guys. Always use the app. Or a city bus or something. If but, you can. Yeah. But um, like if you were if, like us when we got to New York and LaGuardia, the airport, in a really odd time, we got there around like 1 o'clock. Yeah. In the morning. One thirty is when we yeah. got all. Yeah, one thirty in the morning, and city buses weren't really running, and um, yeah, kind of op only option would be Uber. So definitely, definitely only use it through the app, you guys. Stay safe out there. Um, uh, one of the second scams that we came across, well, not like I said, we're, I, don't, I don't know if they're for sure scams, but you definitely want to keep that in mind that it may be a scam if you want to save your money because New York City, these people are working for tips. They're working for tips everywhere you go. Easy money. Easy money. So you you guys see like people performing in the subways. That's cool and all. But there's some people like one lady came out to us. She didn't come out to us. She she just kind of got the whole attention of the subway train and was like, "Good morning, you guys. Um, I'm sorry for disrupting you." And she was like, she was she had the perfect words. She spaced it out. Perfect she timed time. it. Right when she was finished, the doors opened. She had. She even said, "I utilize um, pastry. What are they called? The ones where you get toiletries. The, no, they no. use the it's uh those food things that give people a food name. Stamp. Food. They give like the the pan the pantries the places that give you stuff to pick out that people usually donate. She uses that. She so she told us she used food stamps. That in times of need, that it's really tough. That her family's still struggling. That she'll take anything." Uh, she even said she would take food, drink, which that's understandable. That's but, what the little girl gave her. Nobody yeah, gave her money. Well, yeah. she, went to other, she went to other training. But things. when she finished her speech, she was highly elevated. Her voice was like on the point. She timed it. She spaced it well. And then right when she was done with her speech, the subway was there. We reached our destination. She got off, went on the same train, but in a different 
cart. What's it called? Like a in the subway car. In the subway car. <laughs> she went from this one, walked out, and then went into the next one, and she did the speech again. So definitely think about that. I'm not so necessarily saying she did not need the help, but I mean, you got to keep in mind that some people are really good at playing people, especially tourists and especially in New York. Um, the third part, we were in McDonald's and. This man, I am so sure he was trying to scam people because he, he was scamming people. We were eating and um, so he, family comes up. he came up. He was sitting behind us. Like we're in a sitting eating area. You know, we're done ordering. We're eating now. He just comes up, you know, wearing this hat and wearing this like nice looking sunglasses. You know, basically blanked out kind of. He had a book bag, just like a random book bag. He was like, good morning, you guys. Today is National Homeless Day. Um, and he said he was a part of an organization, yeah. which, you know, you can make up anything that sounds legit. And he was like, we're collecting donations to give back to the homeless people. This is our way of showing gratitude and trying to help them out. Do you guys have anything like, you know, loose change? People are really big about loose change. Not necessarily they, dollars. They even asked for a penny. Yeah. Man, and he, he was like, anything helps. And, you know, they, they they can kind of sweet talk you in there to just, you know, convince you, which is fine. We could have gave some, but we don't really carry cash. So, um, yeah, we told him we only had card. And he was like, okay, you have a blessed day and stuff. And he, he just went around asking everybody. And it was just in a random kind of dirty looking book bag. And people were just giving him money. And he just, you just know he wasn't part of an organization. Because why would you be sitting in McDonald's solicitating? Like, <laughs> you would be out at certain locations you know collecting with yeah i don't know it well, why, why make dollars i else? don't know it was just kind of obvious you guys so just definitely keep that in mind now the last part especially in times square um it's the only in, place actually yeah actually in the only place um in some of my clips if you guys didn't notice but you know there's like the transformer people the Batman, Spider-Man, Elmo, Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> just basically like people in costumes. Ooh, at night there was like, you know, performers and girls like just wearing like pasties and their like bodies all out exposed. Kind of like if you guys gone to Las Vegas where they're like showgirls and they're like really pretty in this costume. Oh, they do the same thing. That's for tips. Same thing. Yeah. Now, <laughs> when I was recording, some people actually come up to you and they're like grabbing, oh, want a picture? Want a picture? Selfie, selfie. Selfie, yeah. They're, and they're like Indonesian people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know what or I think they were Hispanic people. I'm not sure, but they, trust me, they know how to plant themselves in the perfect location because when they see you and you look interested, they will latch on to you. They'll try to get you to take a picture. Once you take that picture, though, they're, they're going to pull gonna... out those things of Tip, please. They're going to pester you for tips, you, you guys. If you walk away, they'll follow you. Yeah, what happened um, with your uncle the first time you went to New York? Well, I mean, we took the picture, <laughs> and they pulled out the thing, and then I walked away, and then he he wouldn't walk away. His uncle. Uh, the and then he ended up tipping. I don't know how much, but yeah, we were across the street while he was still back. And I think they were caught. following him around the block, kind of. Kind of staying in their general area, just kind of like pestering you. But, yeah, so definitely watch out for that. You guys can tip on however much you want. They might be a little... I don't know. Probably ask for more. You they might ask for more. Or something. Yeah, but, yeah. That's their full-time job. You kind of... Fast money. Fast money, I guess. All right, guys, so that's pretty much our main points. There are probably more that we could probably make a separate video about, but we're only there for, like, two days. So these are the main points we want you guys to know. Definitely stay safe out there and keep these points in mind. I keep saying points. I, nothing's coming to my head right now. But, um, yeah, definitely keep that in mind, these these factors, when you do decide to go to New York. Or um, if you have any other recommendations for everyone, definitely comment down below and let everyone know. you got to stay safe, you know, help everybody out. Yep, and when you're walking and somebody runs over your foot with their suitcase or something, you'd be like, I'm walking here! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta pick up that New Yorker style. <laughs> but yeah, definitely keep those in mind. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we'll just catch you guys whenever we go somewhere else.